We have just got to Airlie Beach and the first stop is food. We're at Bohemian Raw Cafe and I've got myself a vegan toasted sandwich and this is the game changer. And I've gone for this peanut butter chocolate acai bar with all the toppings. It looks so good, but what's even better is this view. Okay, we have come to the Airlie Beach Hotel because the weather was being a little bit iffy, but this place is super cool. It's right on the waterfront here, so you can either come here for lunch on a short walk, or you can go for a short walk after lunch or dinner. It's pretty popular with the locals and the tourists, and it's a pretty good vibe in here. The place is set up pretty well, and there's accommodation, so what more could you want? This morning we are on the Honey Eater Trail here in Airlie Beach and I've actually already seen a honey eater bird which is probably how this trail got its name but we've just hit the stairs, it's quite steep already we're here, it's going to be a long slog So this hike actually starts on a hill already so you've already got these fabulous views when you start but you can't park at the top, it's only for residents only so you have to go a bit further down the hill and then walk the rest of the way up to add some extra steps to your day. So it actually seems like this track has recently been uh, renovated. It seems like it's been cleared and compressed quite recently. There is a bit of mud and we're just starting to see some grass seeds on the ground peeking through. So I think recently this has been redone. So hopefully when you get here, there's a little bit more uh, growth <laughs> and the track looks more natural again. Okay, we've made it to the top of a little plateau. We're hoping this lasts for a while because <laughs> that uphill section was pretty tough. But we're up um, in some sort of low canopy trees right now and we have a little bit of blue sky above us. The morning light filtering through the trees. You can probably hear all the birds singing to us as we walk by. Hang on, you're confused. I can't read signs on maps. <laughs> you nearly went the wrong way. This way, but it looks like it's pointing that way. So why is it not just pointing straight up? Okay, we have a little environment change now. We've got some tussocky grass, which is usually found on the top of mountains. So I reckon we're getting close. We're here, we made it to the top. As you can see, it has a pretty amazing view here at Honey Eater Lookout and there is some rain coming but thankfully we still have some blue skies over here but we might scoot back down before we get wet so pretty solid hike up to the top um pretty rewarding views looking over the harbor and everything um but we are currently in conway national park and over behind us is some big rain so we are going to shoot down uh, maybe go for some lunch and then check out the rest of the alley We're on the Bulldog now and this is part of the Bicentennial Walkway which is around 5 k's long and it hugs the early coastline. It's pretty nice, you go through the lagoon and through the wharf and it's a nice little place where a lot of locals just come and do their morning exercise. Boardwalk leads directly up to the lagoon and this is a free public space like what we have in Brisbane, the big south bank and the Yapoon but it's not as good as the Yapoon lagoon. I can feel rain and unfortunately the weather is just not doing too great during our stay here in Ellie. so we probably won't have a beach day sadly but we still have something planned for this afternoon, a bit of a sunset mission so we're crossing our fingers otherwise we're kind of finding it a bit difficult finding much to do here in Ellie but it is the gateway to its Sundays. 
We were on our way back to accommodation, but then we decided we'll go for a little cruise and we've come to Shoot Harbour. And we've just pulled up at this lookout. There's a car park right next to it, some picnic benches. And they have this beautiful view. It has some building down here to do some restoration work, which is a bit of an eyesore. But you can still see how amazing this water looks. Even on an overcast day, it is so blue and turquoise. And these little islands are really nice too, but I think this is one of the places where people come and start their little tours if they charter some boats. This might be the highlight of our stay. Witty Vibes has set up this beautiful beachside picnic spot for us and look how amazing it is. How was your Witty Vibes pop-up picnic? It was so lovely. We were really lucky and we got some little bits of beautiful sunshine and a sunset and then we had a little shower come over and we had this beautiful big rainbow on the right hand side. So yeah, it was quite magical but we're just going to stay here now. Um, we have some fairy lights so we'll see if that looks really pretty if we just maybe wait here for about half an hour or so. But yeah, this is just so nice. You feel like you're on the islands. They said that this style was a mix between um, I think they said Ibiza and Tulum in Mexico and I think they've done a great job. We feel like yeah, we're just on an island in the Mediterranean or in Thailand. It's such a nice little breakaway. Very, very nice. But we are just watching the sunset go down. Check it out over there. It looks beautiful. Um, and just for anyone who's interested, this is Boat Haven Beach here in Ely Beach. Pretty quiet spot. Um, and a good spot to have a little pop-up picnic. Definitely. Today is a very exciting day. We're going on a tour ship and we are going to the Whitehaven Island. We're going to go to the famous Hill Inlet and see the number one beach in the world. And then we're going to go to Dumbo Island and go snorkeling. We have made it to our first stop of the day and we're at Whitsunday Island, the biggest island here in the Whitsundays. And we are gonna go to the lookout, the hill in the lookout. It's supposed to have an amazing view and then after that we're gonna spend an hour or so just at the beach. silica a mineral and even the company NASA has used it to create glass which have used in the Hubble telescope. Yes, we're at Dumbo Island now, we're going to go in this little cove over here, it's nice and sheltered, it's nice and warm and we're very excited. So we're back at the port now, that was just the nicest day, we had the perfect weather. And we just cruised on all the way back to here. It was just so relaxing and that's exactly how we want a boat trip to be. Bucket list ticked off. We have been to the best beach in the world. Okay, it is our last night in Ely and we have come down to three plank jetty. There's a jetty of a width of three planks and it does say use at your own risk, which we are doing right now. We've come here to watch the sunset, 
and have a little picnic. Charlotte is waiting. 